Hey everybody, this is Leighton Taylor from Envision.io and in this video I'm going to show you how to do keyword research for SEO for your e-commerce store. So the tool that I'm using is called kwfinder.com and I'm already logged in here. This is the screen you'll see if you're already logged in and you'll see here we have a search bar. We can start typing in a keyword and I'd recommend just picking one of your product categories and so for this example I'm going to um, pretend that I'm selling camping lanterns, backpacking lanterns, that sort of thing. And so I'm going to just search for uh, camping lanterns. And um, you can repeat this process with different with your different product categories or specific products. And our goal here is to just build up a list of different keywords that are relevant to our site. For the location here, uh, we want to include anywhere that we are selling our products. So if you only ship in the United States, um, then you only really need to worry about uh, search results that are in the United States. And we'll go ahead and click Analyze. All right, and here we see a bunch of statistics about this keyword. And over here we can see the keyword that we searched for in addition to a bunch of other keyword ideas. And it's really helpful how they have this set up where you can see the trend on a little graph right here for each of these keywords. You can see the search volume, and this is the average search volume per month over the last 12 months. And then uh, this column over on the far right is the difficulty score. And the difficulty score is on a scale from 1 to 100, with 1 being, or 0 to 100, with 0 being the easiest and 100 being the, the, the most difficult. In general, I would recommend that you stick with keywords that are in the 30s, I'll say mid 30s and lower. Um, you can, you know, there's no hard cutoff point, but obviously the higher the score, the more difficult it's going to be. So as a rule of thumb, I say 35 or lower. If you want to stick with 30 or lower, that's that's even better. Um, it really depends on your product, though, and what sorts of keywords are available. So if, on average, your products are just much more competitive, then it's going to be harder to rank. If, On the other hand, if you're in a less competitive niche, then you might be able to be more picky and only use keywords that are, let's say, down in the 20s, which is even better. For the search volume, uh, we obviously want to have keywords that get as much search traffic per month as possible so that we get the most possible traffic coming to your site. And uh, as a rule of thumb, I say shoot for keywords that are 1,000 or higher. Um, if, if possible, two or 3,000 up to 5,000 is, is, is awesome. Um, higher than that is also great, but of course, the higher the search volume, once you get up in like 10, 20, 50,000, a month searches, then those are probably going to be much more competitive. But if you see one that's up there in the you know the 10,000 and higher, and it's it's ranked as not that difficult, then that's awesome. That's a great keyword. So what we want to do now is go through this list of suggested keywords, and we want to select any that we feel are a good match for the products that are on our online store. So camping lanterns, that's the one that I started with, and it's okay. But um, it, the difficulty score is a little bit high for my taste and the search volume is okay, a little bit on the low end. So I'm actually not going to select that one, but I do see here that we have camping lights and that's a very similar keyword, probably has all the same products, maybe even more products, but we get more monthly searches and the difficulty score is significantly lower. So I'm gonna go with this keyword instead. And all we're doing right now is just picking keywords that are gonna go into a big list that we're going to use and reference as we optimize your site for these keywords. So um, if you wanna go ahead and include keywords like camping lanterns just for reference later, that's okay. Even if we may not really use it or may not focus on it as much. So I'm gonna go ahead and select camping lantern as well. Um, that one has got you know over 3,500 searches a month and even an even lower difficulty score than camping lights, which is great. Um, LED lantern. So this one is good as, in terms of search volume and difficulty, although it's not, it may not be quite as specific to our products because maybe we sell specifically lanterns for camping, and maybe this sells, uh, maybe this keyword would include lanterns for other uses. Uh, of course, there's probably a lot of overlap, and you, you, of course, you can probably use products for multiple things. But um, what we don't want to do is pick any keywords that are obviously completely um, you know, not relevant to our products. One thing that you can do if you just find that you just have too many keywords here to go through and you feel like it's a little bit overwhelming, uh, you can filter down your search results using the results filter here. So we click on results filter and we can put in a minimum uh, number of searches. So let's say we're gonna search for a minimum of 1,000 a month. And for the difficulty score, we want a maximum of 
you know what, let's just put in 30 and see what we end up with. So then if we click set filter, so this has narrowed it down a lot. And here we have some, um, some keywords that meet those criteria. And you, you might see some that don't have the difficulty score. It just shows a magnifying glass instead. So if you want to see the difficulty score, just click on it and it'll take a second to load and then pull it up. All right, so out of these keywords, uh, let's say that um, the ones that are relevant to the products in my store are uh, this one, this one, this one. Uh, maybe I don't sell camping toilets, so I'm not gonna include that one. Uh, cheap lanterns, I mean, you know, we, we can include it if that's what you wanna target. Maybe, maybe you don't wanna market your products as being cheap. Maybe you market them as more of a high-end thing, so I wouldn't want to include that, but we'll go ahead and include it. And then finally, motorcycle camping gear. Let's just say for this example that we, we don't have any motorcycle camping gear, so we're not gonna include that. So once we've narrowed down and chosen all of the keywords that we want to add to our list, I'm going to click over here, add to list, and I'm going to create a new list and just call it whatever I want. I'll call it the name of our example site here, which we'll just use um, survival gear experts as our brand name, create list and add keywords. And from here, we can go into our lists tab here and I'm going to open up my list and here we see all the keywords that we've added to it. And from here, I'm going to just go ahead and select all of my keywords and export. And I want to export with metrics so that it includes all of this uh, useful data. Now I'll open it up in Excel. And the reason that I wanted to open it up in Excel is so that we can do a little bit more with sorting and filtering. So let's say that uh, here in Excel, um, this is especially useful if you have a bunch of keywords, like let's say 50 or 100, and you want to um, just filter those down. You could do something like um, sorting. So I'm going to sort by search volume. And so I'm going to show that my keywords with the most searches are at the top and with the least are at the bottom. I'm just going to click over here on the top left corner to select the entire sheet. Go to data and sort. Sort by the search volume column, largest to smallest. There we go. And so now you can see that it's reordered these keywords. And so I can see what are my, my best keywords in terms of search volume. And what you might wanna do is go through and pick the ones that have, um, basically that, that you feel are most relevant to your products that you wanna use for your primary categories. Um, also looking at the search volume and difficulty score to, to make sure that they're the really ones you wanna use. And then go ahead and bold them or highlight them so that you can easily reference them later. And then you can just save the sheet somewhere on your computer and come back to it later when you're working on optimizing your site. All right, this has been my tutorial on how to do keyword research. For my complete tutorial on how to do SEO for your e-commerce store, go to envision.io forward slash SEO. The full tutorial on my blog will show you exactly how to optimize your Shopify store using the keywords that we found during this research process. Plus, I'll show you how to get backlinks to your store, which is another key element in doing SEO. Again, to see the full tutorial, go to envision.io forward slash SEO.